Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel and today we're going to play a new game called The Long Drive. As you can see I've already driven quite a bit in this game but I'm going to start from scratch and do a series on this game. Now there is no real objective to this game, well there is one, it's just to drive and that's what we're going to do in this series. Now as you can see we're in the starter house and I'm drinking water. There's more water here, but as you drive along, you find different places where you can get more stuff from. So you can see my car has low on oil, so I'll just get the oil from over here. And apparently someone said that you do not have to use the hose or carefully tip it, just open it. Oh, careful. And then go in there and then fill. There we go. I, I saw that on someone else's video. That is actually a very useful piece of advice because if you try and do the other methods, half of the stuff ends up on the ground, which is not good. All right, we are full on oil. Uh, we need more coolant though, which is just water. So um, the starter base is the same. Um, if you go and play this game right now, it'll have the same stuff. The only difference will be the car. The car changes like that. There we go. See, sometimes the game can be quite finicky and you do have to get used to the controls. But after a while, it just seems natural. And here what I'm getting is I'm getting this bucket of diesel. And this is so if we find a truck or a bus later on in the game, we can pour this into it because diesel is quite sparse in this game. And this has quite a bit of diesel in it, which will be helpful. And that's pretty much it. I guess if we need to, we can fill up the gas tank or petrol or I don't know, fuel. There we go, 2.5 litres. Not a lot of fuel, but it should last us until the next stop. Um, I have this set up with my steering wheel here, so that's going to add an extra aspect of realism. So, ignition. Ah, uh, yes, one thing with the steering wheel is... Um, my steering wheel's reverse gear is kind of broken, so I need to go in here and release the parking brake and then push the car. Oh, and it got stuck. Now this, um, I don't really have that much experience with. Oh no, my car's getting away, but we're in a grassy biome. I'm normally used to the desert biome, which is more common. And I just caught onto the car there. Okay. Why won't this car go? There we go. I guess, I guess the grass biome is more pleasing to look at, but you cannot see rocks, which is a bit of a pain. But if we stay on the road, we should be okay. Oh no, a corner. Oh. Yes, and that can happen when you're not careful, so I'll try to get back on the road. And you can see down here, that is our odometer. That is the correct word for it. Um, and that tells us how many kilometers were driven in this specific car. They all start from zero, which is kind of unrealistic, but it does sh kind of give you an estimate of how long you've been driving. No, not again. Okay. Well, maybe I should drive a little bit more carefully. So if you just want a no-brainer driving game, I definitely recommend this. And yes, in this game, rocks do spawn on the road, so you have to be careful. Okay, so here's my plans for this. We 
try to find a one of the Volkswagen cars because apparently they have the lowest final drive which means that you can go basically faster um, and then we get the bus engine which is the most powerful engine in the game put the bus engine in the Volkswagen oh dear stop rolling okay it appears that I may have um, did I leave the fuel cap open yes I did okay now I need to um, go and find my wheels which will be kind of an impossible thing to do in this grass yes okay I think I can see both of them but I only need one of them because I've got a spare wheel in the car um, the other ones in the grass and when it loads in I will not be able to find it so and I need to remember to put the parking brake on when I put on these wheels or else the car will just roll away anyway I will put this wheel on put the parking brake on and then go into the trunk and put on the spare wheel like that and there we go hopefully we'll find a place soon because I did lose quite a bit of my fuel I don't know if you can see on the right there um, I am currently overheating by quite a bit yes and my engine just died that is another building and hopefully there'll be uh, supplies there it'll seem faster just to push the car uh, not too good to start off the series but I assure you it won't all be like this and also I can kind of steer the car by pushing onto the different sides oh, what's this gas okay well We'll take this 200 milliliters of gas uh, and put that in. There we go. And there is a TV up on the roof for some reason. Uh, the, these are probably one of the worst places. I'll just drink some water because you can. What's on the roof? And there is also a gun, which is pretty cool. So just going to put that in my inventory. I think there's like killer rabbits in this game or something. So, and the car has cooled down, so I can go and just gonna check that I haven't uh, left the fuel tank open. Yes, I have. So luckily we did that. Um, does this car have headlights? Okay. You can see that is one of the giant killer bunnies that just disappeared for some reason so we have to be careful of them and the car is already overheating I don't know what's wrong with this car but it doesn't really like me that much but hopefully when it cools down at night that'll help it not overheat okay this car is um is there a light in this car uh, yes there is okay D did I lose the coolant I actually cannot see the radiator anywhere so maybe we lost it which is unfortunate but hopefully at our next stop there will be a radiator and I forgot to open up that I'm just going to try and get it over this crest and hopefully we can roll down the hill I already know this car is going to be a pain I'll just try and get up to the highest speed possible before our engine completely dies Oh great, another hill. This is going to be really fun. And by fun, I mean torture. We are stuck on a hill. Okay, our engine's cooled down a bit. Maybe I can just go. Yeah, you really need to clutch in this car. And there we go. 10 kilometers in the long drive. And there goes the engine making that horrible noise. I'm just going to sit in the back and then sleep. And our car's cooled completely down, which is great. So we can hopefully... Yeah, this car actually has power when it's cool. Well, I don't really need the lights on anymore, so I'll just turn them off. 
our engine is about to die but I do see something in the distance and hopefully that place will have a car with a working radiator and I'll just let it idle okay it appears that no cars have loaded in but hopefully there will be a radiator of some sort uh, there are tires that's some um, fuel yes you can go on the roof by doing that yeah there's nothing on the roof here um, I'll, uh, I'll just get that fuel um, yeah we do uh, use quite a bit of it so I'll just go uh, did it cool down? Not really. Hopefully we can just get to 80. Can we get to 80? Come on, come on, come on, come on. Yeah, right, I think we'll be able to get over the crest of this hill. What is that? A dirt track next to the road? Or is that just some weird texture generation? Oh dude, it appears we've spun out, but that's alright. Um, and it's as easy as that to get back on track. You can have your car in ignition or out of ignition, so when I brake, the lights don't go on, but now the lights do go on. Uh, and then if you continue to hold down the ignition key, it will turn on the engine. Good thing this entire part is downhill, but that probably means it'll start to go uphill. Uh oh, it's afternoon. No, 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 do not um, spin out on me. No, 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 no. Oh, we lost all that speed. Yeah, this car is a bit squirmy at high speeds. Uh, we are doing just over 100. I can probably sleep in the night in the car again. And considering that I have been coasting down here the whole time, I've actually picked up quite a bit of speed. I'm hoping that there will be a place before this slight hill here. But you never know in this game. Oh yes there is, I am lucky. Ooh, and it appears that a bus has spawned and hopefully we can take the engine from that. Uh, uh, I'll just sleep in the back. How do you sleep in this game? I forgot. V. Can't sleep yet. Okay. Move a bit more forward. There we go. Now I can E get out, stand, and then, then crouch and open the doors. And then, well, it appears this bus did spawn without an engine, however. Uh, uh oh. It doesn't look like this bus has a good source of anything. However, there might be a radiator in it. No, there is not a radiator in this bus, which is a shame. So, uh, I can't really do anything with this. So, I'm just going to... Not that... Just go back in my car. And I'll just... No, I won't fall asleep, actually, because it is morning now. Do not want to waste the day ahead of me. Anyway, that'll probably be it for the episode. Uh, oh, my car just died. Also leads me to the end of this episode. Uh, if you enjoyed this episode, um, consider liking and subscribing. And I will see you in the next one.